Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, July 14th. BP will wait another 24 hours before moving ahead with tests on the latest cap on the leaking oil well in the Gulf of Mexico. The government says it wants to review the procedures before allowing the tests to go forward. If those tests are successful, the leak that sent millions of gallons of crude into the Gulf would be stopped. Cleanup of what's already poured into the water is expected to take years. The White House says the government's nearly $800 billion stimulus program is working. The top Republican in the House says it's not. The Council of Economic Advisers issued a report saying the program saved or created between 2.5 million and 3.6 million jobs since it became law last year. The report drew fire from House Republican leader John Boehner of Ohio. He called the report fuzzy math and said rising unemployment indicates the jobless picture is getting worse, not better. Accused former Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich will soon take the witness stand in his own defense. The prosecution rested its case against Blagojevich on Tuesday. The ex-governor has promised to testify. His lawyers say they'll also call White House Chief of Staff Rahm Emanuel and Senator Harry Reid. A bid to call President Obama to testify was rejected by the judge. Blagojevich is accused of trying to sell the Senate seat vacated by Obama to the highest bidder, as well as of other m political malpractice. And Air Force General James Clapper will finally get his confirmation hearing in the Senate. President Obama's nominee to become the National Intelligence Director was being held up by Intelligence Committee Chairwoman Dianne Feinstein. She wanted first to see action in the House on a pending intelligence funding bill. House Majority Leader Nancy Pelosi wants more oversight written into that bill, and that led to a political standoff. Clapper was nominated more than six weeks ago. His hearing is now set for July 20th. That's your political roundup for Wednesday, July 14th. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.